Today's video is a haul from The Iconic. The Iconic is an Australian store that sells a lot of different brands that are local and international. I have a big range of pastel items here today. And the reason that I decided to film this clothing haul was because House of Sunny was advertised to me in a Facebook ad and I didn't realise that The Iconic sold it. So this popped up in a Facebook ad and I thought, oh what? The Iconic sells House of Sunny now? And I jumped on there hoping to find that green dress that Kendall Jenner wears, you know the one, it's all over the internet. So originally I went on the Iconic to just buy a few things from House of Sunny to try it out because the Iconic offers free returns. So I thought, look, if anything doesn't fit me, if I don't like the quality, I can just return it. And of course, like any sane person, the moment that I opened the Iconic and started browsing, I just started adding to cart and adding to cart and adding to cart until <laughs> Lo and behold, what's that? Is that $2,000 that I've spent? Well, hey, at least I didn't have to pay for all of that because today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a subscription meal kit that delivers easy to follow recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that are ready to cook right to your front door. There's no time wasted because you don't have to hop in the car and go grocery shopping. There's no food wasted because the food is all pre-portioned into the exact quantities you need for your recipe. There's dozens of recipes to choose from each week and most take only 30 minutes and some take 20 minutes or less with their quick and easy options. There's low carb, low cal, vegetarian and pescatarian options with fully customizable portion sizes and delivery dates. You can skip a week whenever you want and best of all, HelloFresh is sustainable. Their packaging is either fully recyclable or it's made from recycled materials. If you want to give it a try, go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel 16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel 16 to get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And with that, let's try on first few items. So, oh, also just so you know, my friend Lucy is here. Oh, She's... hi. Actually, the first thing I'm about to try on completely matches what you're wearing right oh. now, funnily yeah. enough. This first outfit, this is by the brand Cools Club. I haven't heard of Cools Club before. This is the first time I've ever seen them. I also think these are all sweaters from Cools Club as well. I think it might be a brand from the UK. I'm not certain, but I think it's from the UK. And this feels really nice. It's very, very soft. It seems like it's going to be very stretchy. It's uh, the most beautiful color scheme. There's a matching skirt. I don't remember how much these things cost because it was uh, like 3 a.m. when I was adding them to my cart and I was in a little bit of a daze. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try the pieces on and tell you how much I think they're worth and then Lucy's gonna pipe up and tell me what they're actually worth, what I actually paid for them. Just from picking these up, this feels like it's probably a $50 sweater, I would say, and maybe a... 50 or $60 skirt. Mm, interesting. So uh, here's this two piece set. And now that I'm wearing it, I really, really like it. I could wear this all the time. That is if it's not ridiculously expensive. Like I said, I feel like this could be a $50 or $60 top, $50, $60 skirt. However, now that I'm wearing it, I would actually go up to like 70 or $80 per piece because they're so comfortable. What is it, Lucy? Each piece originally was 99. 99. I'm gonna hold my final judgments until I've tried on some other things because I'm tempted to say I think it's worth it because it's just so nice. I will wear it a lot and I mean a lot. I can imagine pairing this skirt with like a, a little white baby tee with a little shoulder bag or something. I just I really like it. I'm gonna commit atrocities and now I'm going to mix prints because I'm going to try on this coat with my stripey set. The stripey set gets a 10 out of 10 for me in style and maybe like an 8 out of 10 for price because I do think it's worth it but also it's a little bit much. This coat, this is from Glamorous. The coat is lovely. This is really warm. This is so comfortable. I bet this is really expensive. Ooh, how much do you think? <sighs> from experience, this blue coat. Hello! Full price, I think that was $500 and I got it second hand. I, I stalked the Facebook marketplace for three years and I got it for $300. What brand is it? Country Road. Oh, yeah, yeah, Second hand, that was 300 bucks. So I'm gonna say this is probably three or 400. Really? Yeah. It's 169. Okay, that's worth it. That's worth every cent. What? You said 169. Glamorous is kind of, from what I understand, it's a pretty like mid-range brand. Glamorous UK. Oh, it's a brand from the UK. Yeah. I like that it's not an obnoxious pink. I like that it's a subtle kind of pink. I feel like I could wear this on any occasion and fit in. This one is a huge win for me. I really, really like it. So, next, we've got this dress. Now, this is a very last minute addition. I was checking out. It just popped up down the bottom of the page and it was like, you might like this. 
these items and I was like, yes, yes, I do like that item. <laughs> so I added it. It's linen by the feel of it. It's really heavy, really thick. I think it's linen, let's see. Don't prove me wrong. Designed in Sydney, how cute. Main 100% linen, lining 100% cotton. This is probably expensive. Was this $300? Half that, 149. Really? Mm -hmm. Full price, 149. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised. All right, let's try. All right, I love it. Ah, I love it so much, but the only problem is I got it in a size eight, but it's a bit too big. It's actually quite loose on my waist and like the sleeves are falling off because it's just not fitting quite right. But the Iconic has a really good returns policy so I can return this for an exchange. I can get it in a size six. If it's still available, I really hope it is. What brand was this? It's A-E-R-E, -E Air? Air? I have never heard of this brand before, but it says it's designed in Sydney, so it must be an Australian company. I feel like a princess. Ah, oh, I feel like Princess Peach. <laughs> this oh, is so cute. Gosh. You look so cute. And the, the silhouette is so pretty. I didn't think that I would be a fan of linen because often when I think of linen, I think of very thin linen. Like I've got a linen face cloth that's very, very thin. So uh, I kind of assumed that the linen dress would not feel that good, but it's really, really nice. It's so thick and so luxurious. Look at the structure of the sleeves. They hold their shape so well. Oh. <sighs> I love it. It's so cute. And they have it in a size six. It's I've a... added it to the cart. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It's really pretty. That kind of peachy color looks really cute. You should try this on. I was looking. I was trying to see if they had it in a white because it's the kind of thing I wear. Oh, you wear this in a white? white. Yeah. yeah. But they have it in black as well. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah, which I think the black would be really See, you too. standing there with your hands in your pockets makes me wish this <laughs> had pockets. I'm sorry. I can, uh... Can I just... If I just put my hand there... Does it feel better? <laughs> I can't believe this is a hundred and something dollars. This should be 300 and something dollars as far as I'm concerned because it's so nice. I love it. I'm going to suss out this brand and see if they have anything else that I like because this is made so well. The structure of it, the way that they fit to the body. Now, I've also had my eye on these sunglasses for over a year now. These are Chloe sunglasses and they were originally around $700, I think, um, yeah, there's 720 New Zealand dollars, it says here. I, uh, I didn't get them because they were way too expensive, but they were on sale. They came down to, I think it was $465, but now that they're here, they're not what I thought they were going to be. So they're pretty simple. They're just like a pastel-y kind of yellow color with pastel stripes on the side. And then on here, it's got little gold details down the bottom here. And, uh, they're cute, but also in the pictures, I thought that they were white. I thought they were like a, a soft, creamy white color with pastel stripes, but they're more yellow, and I really don't like the color of them at all. Next up, we have this dress. This is the brand Daisy. Daisy's super affordable. This probably would have been 30 or $40, I think. Originally, it was 100 and then it came down to $29.99. Oh. <laughs> That's well, terrible. Okay. Daisy... Yeah. That's not worth $100, no way. Really? Uh, no, I've bought dresses like this on Shein that feel the same. I think, it I, th I think 100 is a bit much, but I think it depends on the, the cut. This is the kind of thing that depending on how it sits, I yes, think I true. can see it being pricey. Okay, so here it is. I am not sure how I feel about this. I think $30 for this was totally fine. The fact that I paid $30 for this, great. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it, but in full price at 100 bucks, I don't think it's worth that. I wouldn't go any more than about 50 or 60 dollars for this. Just that it's it's just a normal piece of clothing. It's not I agree. Yeah, I do. I do like it. Happy with the $30 mark. That's great. I think Daisy the label, I love this brand. I think their style is great and I think their pricing is reasonable. On sale, definitely reasonable, but uh no, this one it gets a pass, definitely gets a pass. It's a really classic style as well. I don't think this will go out of style anytime soon. That's, it's kind of like a, a time, not timeless, it's, it's, but. It's, it's a classic Classic, dress. that's yeah. a good way of putting it. It's a classic dress. I do really like it. You look really pretty. Oh, too. thank you. This is also by Daisy. This one is a, not exactly the color I thought it was going to be. I, I think this is a little bit too lime green. And in the pictures, I don't know why, but in my head I thought it was more like minty, pastel-y kind of. It does look a little softer in the It pictures. looks softer, yeah. The pictures make it look a lot softer, so I don't like, I, I really don't like this. This is too like, ugh, it's hurting my eyes. I kind of live for it. 
Really? I think it's cute. Yeah. Okay, I think well. it's a nice color. Let's try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've proved myself wrong. I think I judged this a bit too harshly. Now that I'm wearing it, I do actually really like it. I think it's a really nice dress. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of how lime green the color is. I was definitely hoping it would be a bit more like the picture where it was just a bit more muted, but I can be open to different colors. It just kind of hurts my eyes a little bit to look at, but that's fine. I mean, people look at me and their eyes hurt anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, I the only thing I don't really like is this weird kind of that is that bothers me, that slit. It's for mobility. Uh, I think if I decide to keep this, I will probably just carry the buttons on all the way down. So these buttons, they're real buttons, which not a bad thing, but also I have questions. You know, when a, when a company makes a dress that buttons all the way from the top all the way to the bottom, I personally think, what's the point? Because no one has the time to go through and button every single one of those up. And if you're unbuttoning them to help it get over your head, you don't need to button it all the way to the bottom. So part of me is like, why? This is just creating risk because uh, I once wore a dress that was buttoned all the way from the top to the bottom. I wore it to my graduation at university. And when I was about to walk on stage, I realized that three of the buttons were undone. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's not, it's just not something that I'm a huge fan of. I would prefer fake buttons. If it was just a single piece of fabric with fake buttons, that wouldn't bother me in the slightest. But look, aside from that, this is really nice fabric. It's actually a very stretchy, completely different fabric to what this blue one was. This is very thin and sheer fabric. This is more of an elasticy kind of fabric. Let's see what's it made of. I reckon it'll be elastane and polyester. Uh, 98% polyester, 2% elastane! Yeah. It's only taken three years on YouTube for me to start recognizing fabrics. I should get a plaque, like when I got 100,000 subscribers plaque, I should be like, Alex recognized a, a fabric. <laughs> so, yes, I, I could tell that this was, it's kind of elastic -y, and I actually really like that because it sort of works with your body. There's just a tiny little bit of give. There's not too much, but there's just a little bit of give. I'm gonna guess that this one was also, I reckon 120. It was down to 44.99, and then you got an additional discount of $13.50, so you paid 31. Th 31 for, the yeah. wow, what a steal. Oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> what a steal. I think it's a really I lovely dress. I think it really good on you. You think? I, I think that color is really pretty. It's really fresh. It's refreshing, it's funky. Look at all the green in my wardrobe. This is, yeah, I, I don't wear a huge amount of green. Next, this is a, Interesting. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna wear this with. <laughs> this is by Lioness. It's kind of one of those brands that's like a, a a stretch goal kind of brand. Like it's not so expensive that it's unattainable, but also you, you know you could you you look at the things and you're like oh it's a bit expensive, but if you save up for a while and you buy it, you'll be really happy because the quality is really nice. This is an interesting sheer kind of mesh material. The whole thing is. I mean, I I can see I can see the look on your face, Lucy. What does this say? Ly lioness noun. Hang on, why are you giving me the... Are you serious? But lioness. It's branding, Alex. Noun. <laughs> noun. Lioness. Plural. Noun. Lioness. What? A, a female lion. <laughs> really? How many times did they say... Wait, did you read no, it really? exactly I read verbatim? It. Is... Verbatim. It says lioness. Noun. Noun. Lioness. Plural noun. Lioness. A, a female <laughs> lion. <laughs> Okay. Wow. <laughs> pastel. A shade. A color. Blue. Pastel. Noun. Okay. Adjective. Color. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yes, it is a mesh top. So it is rather sheer. You can see straight through it. Uh, I don't know what colored bra that I would wear under this because no matter what you wear, you can see it. And if you wear a nude bra, it's almost like you're not, you're not wearing a bra and then people are like, I can see straight through your shirt. <laughs> um, and then if you wore a colored bra, well, that would stick out really obviously, and I'm just a little bit confused. So I don't quite know how to style this one. I've put it with a skirt that I got from Revolve. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. That's such a good video. Uh, the link is in the description box down below. But yeah, this top, I did have high hopes for it, but now that I'm in it, I'm... I'm underwhelmed. I... Can, you, can you unbutton a few more of the hooks so it's a little... You want to see a little bit more, do you? Well, well... I'm confused. How are you supposed to wear something like this? What I would just um What do you wear under it? I don't have any blue bras. <laughs> I, I would just wear it. You just just wear I it. I would just uh, like like that? I, I would Yeah. Really? Well Yeah. Mm. I, I, I yeah. but 
am I? I feel I'm a little more. Mm, can we say? It's <laughs> <channel? laughs> It's nothing to do with me being conservative. I just no, think no. it looks weird. I just think it looks awkward. Yeah. I. I, uh, I, don't, know. I don't know. I suppose I could always treat this like a cardigan. I could wear a cami underneath or something, mm. which might be a bit better, like a white cami. Maybe. And then because it, it's got these uh, eyelet hooks, so it's very easy to do up and undo. So I could just treat it like a cardigan, but I feel like it's not intended to be like that. It's intended to be a top. So this one, I'm. I'm not entirely sure about it. It's so comfortable though. Oh my god, I could wear this I could wear this for like weeks on end because it's just it's it's figure hugging. Mm -hmm. So it feels really snug. It feels like a warm hug and it's really really soft. It's mesh, but it's soft mesh. The amount of times I've bought mesh tops and they're really itchy, but this is delightful. So I'm really torn. I love this interesting ruching kind of detail along here. Like it's bunching up. It's got super stretchy sleeves like you can pull on it it's really stretchy there's a lot of give in it so i think that this is probably worth about maybe 45 or 50 dollars or so what is the truth the original price was 69 then it was brought down to 48 okay. you've got an additional discount of 14 dollars, so you paid 33. okay that's fine totally fine i was thinking of returning it but now i'm i'm not going to i don't really? yeah no it's so comfortable okay. it's so oh it's so pleasant it is so pleasant maybe i'll just keep it as pajamas maybe i'll never leave the house pajamas? very expensive pajamas i think you just need a <laughs> seamless bra i think it's all it needs that's a lot of effort lucy uh. <laughs> next up we have our first piece from house of sunny so i heard of house of sunny first because there was this kind of like kendall jenner drama where she wore the dress and she didn't tag them and then people were like, why didn't you tag the brand? And then the other people were like, she doesn't have to. And then people were like, you could change, you could change a brand's life if you <laughs> tag them. You could give them a lot of customers. And then people were arguing and then they were like, in the comments, people were saying it's from House of Sunny. And then that's, that's how I found the brand. Cause I was like, that's an interesting dress. Where's it from? And then I read in the comments that it was from House of Sunny. And uh, I've always thought of House of Sunny as a very expensive designer brand because Kendall Jenner was wearing it so I was like oh it must be really really expensive but um it's not that bad actually it's one of those brands that I actually think if you if you save up and if you really really like the piece you can potentially afford it depending on your situation like it's the sort of thing you could save up for quite a while and then you could get something I think their prices start around 200 or 300 dollars I'm sure that there's some items that are a lot more expensive than that, but it seemed to me as though most things were, you know, under a grand, which is not affordable. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's affordable. So this, this is really nicely made. This is beautiful. Like out of everything that I've tried so far, I would definitely say that this is the most expensive. I can tell it's expensive. I think this might be wool. A crafted staple of the moment with a feeling that lasts. Limited runs only. Welcome to the good times. Oh, yes, okay. My favorite fabric. <laughs> oh, 100% acrylic. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. This is a nice acrylic. It feels like wool. I really, I was certain. I was like, this must be wool. This is probably 600 bucks. This is a wool. But also because it's acrylic, I don't think it would be 600. I reckon it's probably three or 400 maybe for this. 179. 180. Yeah. Okay. Worth it. Was that full price? That 100 and something? 180. Yeah. That's full price? Mm -hmm. That's great. I actually, see, like I said, House of Sunny, it's a designer brand, but it surprised me. It's affordable slash you can save up for a bit and hopefully achieve that because it's not you know some brands if this was like for love and lemons this would be six or seven hundred dollars yeah. so love shack fancy love shack fancy seven hundred dollars something like that so that's actually really good i'm really really happy very impressed with this i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i love it oh it's so cute it's adorable all right so seeing as i'm wearing this sweater we've got a couple of sweaters down here that I'm gonna have a look at. Uh, this is all the same sweater, but interestingly, when you choose the color options on the website, the color not only changes the color, but it changes the entire print. So uh, we have one that's a rainbow, and then it goes to, oh, is that the same print? <laughs> yeah. Let me try that again. When you change the color, it changes the entire print. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> so uh, we have, We've got the rainbow ones and then that one has flowers and then this one 
has a galah. If you don't know what a galah is, it's a pink Australian parrot. And uh, then the last one is a killer whale. So that these, so cute. They, this is the one that I saw first of all, and I loved the color scheme because it's like a lilac and mint and a rich purple and black and white and I just I was like oh it's so pretty and I didn't realize it was a killer whale I just thought it was random colors so these are all by the brand Cools Club which I hope is available internationally because their things are so cute this is made really well it's very soft I guess it's probably once again acrylic although that House of Sunny one was much softer much more luxurious this is 100% cotton interesting so it doesn't feel that soft but it's very warm the length of them they're all uh okay it's not a cropped sweater but it, it's not a full length sweater it's kind of somewhere in between I feel like it's probably a good one for tucking into jeans because if you have a really long sweater and you go to tuck it into jeans you're kind of stuffing a lot down your pants and uh, if you have a very cropped sweater it's kind of hard to tuck it into jeans because there's not quite enough fabric to tuck so these are actually a really good length for tucking into things this print is really sweet with the clouds and the rainbow. It feels like it's made very well and I'm gonna say it's probably 80 or 90 dollars. Uh, it is 159.95 so 160. And I bought five of them? <laughs> Shit. I don't know what you were on but but it's interesting yeah it's only it's 10 dollars difference between this and the House of Sunny one. Maybe I'll keep it. Try on all of them. I'll try on all of them. I don't think I like this one as much. I will probably return this one. It's the same print, so to me there's kind of no point in having two of exactly the same print. So this one can go back. Okay, the light blue. It's cute, but I'm also not 100% sold because to me, the flowers, there's just something about them that I don't adore. They're not daisies. You guys know my favorite thing to say is stick a bunch of daisies on it if you want to make it super cute. These are not daisies. Do I have any botanists out there? All right, so I haven't tucked this next one in because I wanted you to be able to see the full print. And look, if I ever make merch of Archie, I can just imagine making like a, a pastel green colored, oh no, actually pastel pink with a really big Archie just like peekaboo. Would that be stealing their design? No, I can't do that, can I? That's okay, we can brainstorm other merch ideas. Doing crime. And the killer whale. This one, uh, I thought it would be my favorite. It's, it's cool, I do like it. I think what I like most is the color scheme because there's something about, look, just look at this, just from there to there. That's amazing, I love that so much. But, hmm, I don't know, I don't know. I need to look at myself again, hang on. Every time I look, I'm like, oh yes, and then I walk away and I'm like, no, I've, I've forgotten how it looks now. All right guys, tell me what you think down below because I, I've got five of them there and the fact that each one is $160, that's uh, like, eight or nine hundred dollars worth of sweaters there so they can't all stay something's something's gotta go or, or all of them have to go or one of them has to go this is <laughs> amazing I love it it's so cute my favorite thing I think I've ever got from the iconic it's so cool it's really 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 soft I don't think it's real fur I'm pretty, it, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be but it, it does feel, I owned a Rex rabbit when I was younger and it feels like him, which is sad, but also I don't think, it's not real fur, it's synthetic, so it's really, really soft. This is so plush, so puffy, and also the sleeves, like with the actual fabric that the cardigan is made of, it's luxe. It is so nice. Look, you're talking to someone that often gets cardigans and sweaters and stuff from Yes Style, and they're nice enough because they're they're cheap like you get what you pay for this wearing it i'm like hi oh, yes you know like if, if you told me this was 500 dollars, i'd be like oh yeah checks out like that's it's just so nice how much is how much do you think oh uh, how much mm, i think i probably 350 i reckon it's 350 170 170 dollars the other one you're joking sunny. wow this has to be, without a doubt, like one of my favorite things I've ever shown in a video. It's just so it's nice. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I did touch it before and I was like, Argh. Argh. I love it. It is like literally one of my favorite things that I've ever shown in a video. Argh, I'm so put happy. Pants. Put on the pants. Put on the pants. You realize, right, when I put on those pants, I am going to look like 
a gym leader. I'm gonna look like an ice type gym leader in Pokemon. You're gonna look like Emma Frost from X-Men. <laughs> Let's be honest, I have 100 HP right now. <laughs> that is iconic. Oh my gosh, can I just say, can you imagine wearing this, like, when we can travel again, Clarice, like, to the airport? <laughs> Like, because it's a matching set and it's sort of boosh. With a suitcase, with like a, a frosty <laughs> white suitcase or something you like. They're like, where are you going? And you're like, Iceland. Like, <laughs> there's only one oh, place. This is so it's cool. It's so cute. But also, look, I'll just say, it does, it kind of feels like pajamas now. No. Now that I'm wearing the matching pants, this to me feels like pajamas. No, no you don't think? Wow. Well. well fanciest lady pajamas in the world. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, and the pants scrunchy. How they scrunchy are... are the pants? <gasps> mm, maybe I try this. It's so cute. Very, very stretchy. Really comfortable. The, oh, the pants. I love them. What I can't get over, what is so cool about this to me is the texture. It's got this like, it's, ah! no, no, no. It's got a zigzaggy <laughs> kind of like pattern all over it and it's a textured zigzag pattern. Hopefully you can see, oh, and I, I reckon you Do can't. Do the sleeves come off? Do the sleeves come? You, oh. <laughs> Wah. Wah? No, what? Huh? <laughs> Wait a second. Lucy. Do you want some no, it's fine. Everything's fine. Alex has evolved! For some reason it feels a bit less like pyjamas now. I think I could actually get away with wearing this out in public and not get stared at too much. Ooh, with like a like a white long line coat or something on top of it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of... Like a beige one. Wait, yeah. wait. I have something here. I wonder if this would look any good. Do you think... Yeah, is it a dress or a cardigan? This is a cardigan. So, oh, segue. It's the faux faux lying on the floor for me. <laughs> it looks like a toilet seat cover. A fluffy toilet seat cover. <laughs> this long line cardigan is from Daisy. And this looked really, really pretty on the website. I just, I had to get it. It was so nice. And it feels really good. Oh, this feels lovely. You know, actually, interestingly enough, this feels on par with the House of Sunny stuff, quality-wise. It feels really, really nice. I think this cardigan is probably $90. Okay. Uh, it was $70. Oh. And then you paid $52.49 because you had a discount. Not bad. It's actually a lovely cardigan. Don't know about uh, how it looks with this, but big brain moment here. What if I use this like a vest and put it on over the top of the cardigan and let the little thing hang out? Oh, that's... you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. All right, I, I take it back. I, uh, ah. It doesn't, doesn't look great. It looks okay. It's, it's probably something about the fact that there's the blue pants. Like, hear me out, right? You, you get multiple items of clothing out of the modular cardigan because you get a vest and then you get the long sleeve cardigan with or without the fluff. And then you also get sleeves. You get sleeves if you, if you just feel like wearing sleeves. <laughs> one cardigan, 100 ways to wear it. Uh, I think. There's something about... <laughs> it's just the energy of it. Do you know what I mean? The colours are wrong, but the energy is right. Freshly caught Cornish pixies! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> like something I would wear to a rave? Oh! I think this is my favourite thing. One of my favourite things that I've ever shown in a video. And uh, I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it, for sure. How much do you think the pants are, though? Oh, the pants, hmm. As f I think the pants are probably $140. Uh, they're 170 so same as the... Okay, yep, that checks out. Makes sense. I don't know if I need the pants. I need the cardigan. I don't know if I need the pants. The pants are really lovely, but I just, I don't think I would actually wear them a huge amount. Mm -hmm. They're really nice though. You know what? I could just return all of those sweaters and keep the pants. That would that would make sense to me. The next garment is another two-piece from House of Sunny, but um, it's a little a little bit confusing. So we have pants, which I think are basically exactly the same as the ones that I'm wearing, but the top, you know, it's probably yeah, it is. But does the cross go at the front? No, it goes at the back. 
So you wear it like this? No. <laughs> House of Sunny is more than just ready to wear. It's a crafted staple of the moment with a feeling that lasts. A space where style and comfort can ceremoniously exist. Yes, style and comfort. No! <laughs> All right, so uh, here it is. A little bit odd, this one. Definitely, for me, not as wearable as the previous one. The pants, I don't mind them. You know, we were on the topic of what shades of green that I like, and uh, I, I didn't like this one. But I do like this one. But they're, they're very, very similar. So uh, I think I'm just being a bit ridiculous. I don't really like the top. It's too dangerous for my liking. I'm, I've got my bra on underneath because I'm a little bit too timid to take it off because like one wrong stretch and everything will fall out. I but think you look cool. Thank you. Maybe I'll hang on to it. Depends on the price. Is it, Ooh. is it? $120 for the top and $170 for the pants. The pants are the same price as the blue pants because they're the, the same. same pants. Um, but the top is $109. Yeah. It's, it's... Yeah, no, I'm not going to keep the top. $109 is a lot for something that barely covers anything. I, if you think about it as an outfit cost, I think it feels better, but as an individual item cost. Like, would you, would you buy that top without the pants? Maybe. Maybe to wear with jeans. I don't think it's maybe your personal style vibe, but I think it's a vibe. It's a vibe, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna love this next set. This is also House of Sunny, and this top, it's so nice. And there's matching pants, and the pants are a different style to the ones that I'm wearing. Still the same luxurious fabric, but these ones, they actually have zippers. Looks like they've got pockets. Slightly different cut on the pants too, but this, this is what I'm most excited about. Let's get into it. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Okay. I just, I just, I want to go run errands yes. and be the most luxe person in town. This is unbearably comfortable. I feel like it should be forbidden. I feel like I should not be allowed to enjoy clothing this much. It's so this is cute. This is amazing. So I've paired this with this little pastel blue handbag that I got from ASOS and also little pastel uh, sandals. They're from ASOS too. There was just, look, there was just something about the buttercup yellow that was just screaming wear me with blue and it's really cute. The cut is so nice. It's like the so waist, nice. The, the silhouette is really pretty. This top, if they made this top in all the pastel colors. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't care if it was 300 bucks. I would want one in every color, mm -hmm. which sounds insane. It's just so nice. P pockets, real pockets. I, if it came, like, I love it. Oh. I think the color on you is really cute. If I could get that in a different color, because on me, pastel yellows are just not it, unfortunately. But if I could get it in a different color, I would also, like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, kind of, Frothing, celebrating. It's really cool. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Oh my god, I love it. It's How so much do you cool. think it costs? What do you think the cost? I don't is? care what the cost is. I'll oh. pay the price. Okay. No, no. Uh, <laughs> what? Mm, Two hundred and ten dollars for the sweater and two hundred and twenty dollars for the pants. One hundred and forty for the top and one hundred and sixty for the pants. You mean this is less than the other ones? Well, to be fair, that one's like. Printed and the other ones are kind of like textured. Yeah, true. Do you those, know what I mean? those are textured. Yeah, it's it's sewn with this really interesting texture. And yes, this is printed. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but there is like a really really fine kind of white mottling all the way through. You know what I should do? I should make a video where it's like top ten clothing items I've yes. ever bought in haul videos or something. But like last time I did a top ten video, I did a top ten things I thrifted and. It didn't get very many views, so I'm like, hmm, if I post a top 10 video, is it going to get watched? Will no. you guys watch that? Holy, holy Grail fashion items. Oh, holy Grail that. fashion items. A tracksuit from House of Sunny, without a doubt. This is, oh, I can't, uh, you know what? This is dangerous, because if I, if I wear this, I will just stand in front of the mirror like a vain little wench every day, and I'll just <laughs> stare at myself. I'll just be like, nice. <laughs> and I'll turn away and go to leave and be like, Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, don't know if I this love it. This one's not allowed to come to K barbecue though. No, <laughs> not allowed to wear it to Korean barbecue and get soy sauce all over it. Not that time, no. <laughs> no, 
know. But you, okay. can, you can buy a spare that can be a Korean barbecue. Why don't I buy? I could just be like a cartoon character and yes. just, just like you open my wardrobe and it's just a hundred of this tracksuit and it's like that's the one I wear gardening and I wear that one to Korean barbecue and I wear that one to work and like I'll live in it. I'll just I'll just become a cartoon character. All I need now is Archie here on my shoulder. By the way, guys, Archie isn't here because uh because Lucy's in the room and it's Aww. it's not safe for people to be in the room with Archie around. So going from one excellent yellow tracksuit to another. I've got this now. This is by the brand Local Heroes. All right, so I was I was spoiled by the other one because now that I've put this one on, it's nowhere near as exciting for me. It's still really nice. It's very soft, really, really plush and comfortable. I love that the embroidery is pastel blue. And also this is the most delightful shade of yellow. It's like a buttercup yellow and it's gorgeous. Again, looks really nice with a little blue handbag because it matches the embroidery perfectly. Uh, see, the thing for me is, because this was quite an expensive haul, and I'm deciding what do I need and what do I not need, I really want this for just, you know, go to the post office, go to get some groceries, lounge around the house, I really want it. But also, it's probably expensive. How much do you think this is? <sighs> I reckon it's at least $100 per piece. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's $125 for each piece. When that, like, I, I don't, I don't that's think it's a, really fair, because you just that's crazy. On that one. That one is like 140 something or whatever for the, per piece. Per piece. It's still really cute. They're kind of different vibes. This is more athletic. Yeah. College. But see, <laughs> I tend to, uh, I tend to trash my tracksuits. I wear my sweatpants and my tracksuits and stuff to do household activities and they, they get dirty really easily. So I feel like I'm gonna trash these really fast. And because they're a bit pricey, it's like, I shouldn't trash them. I should keep them in good condition and wear it out places. But then again, I'm like, I don't think I'd wanna wear this out that much. I'd wear that out, or I would wear that out to lunch. I'd wear that to like nice places because it's a nice tracksuit. This one, it's very casual. So to me, it's like, I'll wear this to do casual things. So then I'm like, I'll just casually paint my house and get paint all over it and it's worth a lot of money so I, I shouldn't do that. So I'm like, maybe I should just return it because I can't be trusted with it. I can't be trusted to not destroy it. Oh, next up we have a dress by a designer called Alice McCall. Now Alice McCall is an Australian designer but I believe that she's quite big overseas too. I've never bought anything from Alice McCall because it's very expensive. It's like, I think that this was $400, $500 or something like that. that. Beyonce wears Alice McCall. Did you guys ever see the Beyonce Senorita dress? That was Alice McCall. And uh, I wanted to buy that, but the moment that Beyonce appeared in it, it sold out in like 0.2 seconds. So uh, I never got my hands on it. And then the people that did buy it started reselling it online for like five times what they paid for it. So Alice McCall is that sort of brand. This was a last minute purchase because I was like, well, it's a sponsored video and I can pay a little bit more than I normally would and I wanted to try Alice McCall and now that it's here it doesn't actually feel as luxe as I thought. I thought it would be kind of like Zimmerman or something. I thought it would feel really expensive but it just feels like something from Shein to be honest which is a little bit rough. Whoa. Don't you? Did you try? Did you uh, touch so this? I haven't touched that but I do own a couple of you own some Alice McCall? Um, I got it at a sample sale. Sample sale, yeah. It was like yeah. $17 for the play suit and it's, it's nice. Um, I think, so you paid 126 for this. Oh, 126. But it was 360 originally down to 180 and you got a discount of 54. It's 130 dollars, right? Uh, 126. Okay, alright. I was about to say, it's alright, but actually it's pretty good. It's really, really cute. It's adorable. I like it a lot and I'm tempted to keep it, but I don't know if I will. Uh, I feel like a lot of people watching this video will think that this is a very, very cute and sweet dress. But they have to check out all the other stuff too. Yeah, it's <laughs> all really cute. Everything on Alice McCall is really cute. We both cute. really, really like Have you Alice seen that ladies collection that's like the 60s kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, it's oh, so cute. It's beautiful. So yeah. not, not everything on Alice McCall is pastel, but the attention to detail and the effort that they put into styling and hugging the body and like making your figure look nice. It's just, when you wear Alice McCall, I feel like at least Australian, like I look at something, I'm like, oh, that's an Alice McCall piece. It's you, really 
telling. You can always tell when something's Alice McCall. It's a very strong It's like Zimmerman. Brand. You can literally, yes, like Zimmerman, you can always tell. They have a really strong theme and all their garments fall within those sort of shapes and silhouettes and this is very Alice McCall. It's got a lacy layer on the top which has really cute little daisy kind of flowers on it and each one has an embroidered pollen pocket. Is that what you... You know when a flower and there's a yellow thing in the middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cute. The attention to detail is lovely and I really like this little bow situation, this knot to tie thing here. I'm tempted to keep it because a hundred and something dollars for an Alice McCall dress, that's actually not bad. I've paid more for things on Yes Style, so that's, that's not bad. I, I think I might keep this one. Next, we have... Another dress. Now, when I saw this in the pictures, I thought it was a little bit more pastely than it is. Now that it's here, it's giving me a, like a preschool teacher in the 90s. This reminds me of something that my mum wore when I was growing up. I think my aunt had a couch like that in the early 2000s. There you go. Yep, couch fabric. This is Faithful the brand, and the last time I posted a video about the iconic, I got the most adorable pink baby doll dress from Faithful the brand, and I've been stalking them ever since, and they do often have very cute, very nice pieces, but they're rather pricey, so I wouldn't be surprised if this dress was like a $600 dress. 600? Yeah, because the little pink one I got was 400. No! Yeah, really? I think, or am I remembering wrong? Fact checking time. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Lucy has fact checked me and it turns out that dress that I'm thinking of was like $169 or something like that. I don't know why in my head it was $400. Maybe that's because that's what I think it's worth. Maybe that's the perceived value in my heart because I love that dress so much. So taking that knowledge now and thinking about how much this dress might be, I'm gonna say maybe 250. It was originally 219, brought down to 109 with a discount of 3286 for a grand total of 7664. What a steal! This is amazing! <laughs> I love this! I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do, but I adore it. It's oh my god, it's just it's really, really, really soft. It's so comfortable. I don't know what this fabric is. I've never felt anything like this before. It's kind of it, actually, this looks like cotton to me, but it's got something I mixed think it's in. Viscose, I think. You reckon viscose? That's my bet. A hundred percent rayon. It's rayon, and it's really, really, really soft, and it's so comfortable, and I love it. And the silhouette, I think, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous on you. I love the the puffy sleeves and this neckline. This is a square neckline, wouldn't you say? It's like a square kind of. Yeah, like a square sweetheart. Kind yes. Of yeah, and the way it sort of hugs the waist and it flares out, and I really like the length of it, the colours. They weren't as pastel as I wanted, does not matter in the slightest. It's beautiful. I'm going to get so much wear out of this dress. This just goes to show this faithful the brand. Because when I when I found that pink dress, I was like, this is amazing. And it felt so nice. And so many people bought it. And then people were DMing me and they're like, Alex, I bought it. And it was a bit expensive, but it's so worth it. Same as this. So this is another one of these brands and it's like, okay, I'm now hooked on this brand. House of Sunny, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. This Faithful, the brand, I will be faithful to this brand. And I'll continue <laughs> buying from them because the quality is great and I can totally justify the price. It's beautiful. It's so funny because you like hated it on the rack. Yeah, you, that's right. We were talking about it before and you were like, no. Yeah, I, I was like, hanging up. I didn't yeah, like it on the it, rack. It's more saturated than kind of your usual thing, but it looks really pretty on. It's beautiful. Oh, you look like you're going to go on like a really fancy cruise or like you're on a beautiful island. I should drink a pina colada. <laughs> Final dress now. <laughs> This is another one from Faithful the brand. Yeah, how about that? Okay, so here it is. This is adorable. I absolutely love it. I love these little tiny gingham dresses with the big puffy sleeves. They just, they make me happy and bring me so much joy. If I steamed it or ironed it and, and got all of the creases out, it would be even more pleasant. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have time for that tonight, folks. All the will. Yeah, we, we don't have the will to that. All the desire, all the time. But uh, hopefully you can still appreciate it, even with its little creases in it. This is so sweet. I think that this would probably be worth uh, $90, I would say. Ah, interesting that you would say that. How about $189? No discounts. Ah, oh, hundred price. $189. Yes. Ooh. I may return it. Yeah, when you were like, I love it so I much, I was like, I'm it's not gonna pleasant. say anything! Oh, it's pleasant, it's also way too expensive. It's a 
made of rayon, but interestingly enough, uh, that one was also rayon, but that one feels so different. It's so different. Uh, that's so much nicer than this. If that was $180, I'd be like, yeah, fine, take my money. I'll, I'll have 10 of them. But this, see the thing, knowing that I can get something on Princess Polly, like, let me grab my Princess Polly one. You would see this and you'd see this and you may even think they're from the same brand or the same designer. Like it's a very very similar silhouette. It's like the same length and the same sort of sleeves the and everything. The Princess Polly one though, if you ask me which one do I think is like more expensive, I would say the Princess Polly one. It's probably not one of their standout styles, but it still looks really gorgeous on you. It's so cute. It makes me really happy. Like, you know how I was dancing around and yeah, singing yeah. and feeling like, oh, it brings me so much joy. I knew the price. Ah, oh, the price. Tell me in the comments down below, guys, what do you think? I think this is just gorgeous. I think it's so cute. I think it's very flattering. I think that Faithful, the brand, puts a lot of uh, thought into their cut and where the, yeah. where the waistline sits and how the sleeves fit and things like that. It's really well executed and I love it. And it's a, it's a good item to end on. So uh, that's it, guys. That's everything as far as me trying it on. If you'd like to hang around and see what these items look like on another body shape, Lucy's going to have a little try too. Ah, oh, I'm in the lounge where I'm ready to relax. Got myself a Corona, a beer. <laughs> got myself a beer. Lucy's got a drink too. I'm finished handling the expensive clothing so I can eat some chips now. I can get greasy fingers now. I'm like the person who covers your shift. <laughs> like not quite as good. Oh my god, Lucy. It looks really nice. Oh, you look so nice. I like it too. I, I thought this might not. You um, look amazing. <laughs> you look so much better on you than all of No, I think, I think you look really, I think this actually looks nice for a lot of people. I think you looked really nice in it as well. This would suit a lot of body shapes, I think. Mm. It mm. seems to not be transparent. It looks great. Yeah. Back. Oh, your bum looks so nice. <laughs> How do you get that? How do I get that? Um, wow, I can't stop looking. Childbirthing hips. <laughs> I have not looked at you yet because I want to be surprised. <laughs> I am not sure. I, I think the color oh, isn't wow! what I would... <laughs> <gasps> Lucy! It's, it's a little... You, you don't like it? I... What's wrong? I think... Can no, I, I don't care. The... I don't care what you say. Okay, that's the blue one. Wow. I think I like the top part, like the sleeves are pretty and the um, this uh, neck area is nice. But I think this is just, it's a little tight. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> that looks so nice. It's quite nice. Yeah. It I, looks beautiful. It's a cute, I mean, what was it? It was again like 30 something like that. So yeah. I think that's Oh, that's really lovely. Nice Do you want it? <laughs> Do you want it? You can have it. I mean, Are you going to keep it? I really like really it, cute. but it looks, keep I it. think it looks much nicer on you. <laughs> no, I don't think, no. You, what? You don't like it? I don't think I look good in this at all. Really? No. I look like a Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Eh, wow. I like I don't wow. know where I'd ever wear that, but <laughs> it's, it's so cool. Yeah, I don't It I, looks really cool. Oh whoop. I mean if if you had some reason to need to wear something like this, you can totally pull it off. I dance. Dance. I can, dance. I yeah. can imagine a dancer. You are a dancer, I can imagine you wearing this to I dance, dance some, sometimes. Give, give him some give him give him a move. <laughs> do do something. Uh, dance for me, monkey. I think of that one. Yes! <laughs> Cute. <laughs> yeah. I like it you like it? One. You like it better than the blue? I think so. It really looks nice on you. With the pink hair, I've noticed that the greens have been looking alright. Yes. Would you buy either of these things? Uh, like actually go out of your way to buy them? I don't know where I would wear this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is right. It's like, like where would I it's, wear it? It's cool. It's good quality. Probably. If like, I was like wealthy and had nothing to do but like go to like beach bars in exotic locations and drink cocktails then like yeah that's, there you go like that's why you know who does that kendall jenner, jenner. Mm. that's a look with the purple tracks yeah <laughs> this is uh hello there uh it's me from the future and when i say the future i mean 10 months after what you just watched so uh, long story short we filmed that video and then I misplaced the memory card it was on and it took me a very 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 long time to find it because memory cards are this big and the mess in my house is bigger than my house so uh, it took me a long time to find it and when I did I thought oh I wonder if any of these things are still in stock online and luckily almost all of them were because it, none of that's really fast fashion it's more slow fashion these designers they tend to keep their designs for a lot longer. So most of it is still available on various websites. So that's great. But uh, I thought because it's been such a long time, 
I was editing the video and I was just gonna upload it as it was and I thought, wait a second, why don't I just quickly update them and tell them what I actually kept? Because the whole way through I was like, hmm, am I gonna keep this or return this, keep or return? And there were a lot of things that I said in the video that I was going to keep. But then when I sat down and looked at the items and thought long and hard about them, about the fact that some of those pieces of clothing cost more than a week's worth of rent, I, I was really, really tough. I only chose a couple of things to stay and they were my absolute favorites and also the things that I thought were the best value. So of course, how could I not keep the tracksuit from House of Sunny, my absolute favorite thing. And I'll tell you what, all these many, many, many months of lockdown, I have been living in this and it's seriously one of my favorite uh, tracksuit things that I own. I love it. I would buy it again if they made it in different colors. So Alex from 10 months after what you just saw still recommends the House of Sunny tracksuit. I also kept the daisy dress, the blue one, and I've worn this the most, I would say, out of everything that I kept. I also kept the 1990s material. How could I not? Again, this was just beautiful. I loved the way that this fit me. Another one that I kept was the green daisy dress. Unfortunately with this one, the very first time that I went to wear it out, this tie completely frayed and it's just about to snap off. It is just hanging in there for dear life. It's hanging on by a thread just like me, and uh, I can't wear it until I fix it. And you know, this is me we're talking about, so did I fix it in the 10 months that I had? No. So I, I think I might just give this to someone else who will actually take the time to fix it and then wear it and love it. So that one, it has stayed up until now, but it has not been worn. The last thing that stayed wasn't meant to stay. This was a big old mistake. I actually did return this and a couple of days later, the Iconic returned it to me. And I got an email from their customer support team saying that they couldn't accept the return of this one because it didn't have its tag attached. And I was like, what? I didn't remove the tag. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah, they said it wasn't in a state to be returnable. So they sent it back to me. Didn't repurchase the pants because it just, this was expensive. And I was like, I can't justify both pieces. So because, because I have it, I have been wearing it, and it is so cute, I did really like it, and it was a toss up between these two, and this one obviously won out my heart, but you know what, the universe was like, no, no, you need both of them, so here I am, I, I have both of them. Not necessarily by will, but I'm not gonna really complain about it. I could have I could have fought the Iconic, you know, when they sent it back to me, I could have been like, hold on, there was no tag to begin with, but I was like, no, no, I'll just, I'll accept this one, it's a sign from the universe. So uh, yeah, with that, that's everything. They're the only things that I kept. I sent everything else back and I have obviously since found the memory card, edited the video, saw the items again, and there were some things that I'm a little bit sad that I returned, but also my wallet is not sad in the slightest. So anyway, that's it guys. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am definitely going into 2022 with a tougher attitude toward fashion. I am not going to be buying as much or, you know, buying items that I'm only going to wear once or twice and then never wear again. I'm going to try and be a lot more serious about the items that I'm purchasing and I don't mind spending a little bit more if it means that it's a statement piece that I'm going to get a huge amount of wear out of. So expect to see a little bit of a change in my content this year. I'm going to be including a little bit more about designer items. I will still be showing affordable options but I would like to show more small businesses as well, independent designers, small creators. Uh, and if you have any that you would like me to review, please leave them in the comment section down below. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!